Hey everybody, Charles Brian Quinn, or CBQ here, back with another edition of How It Works. And today we're going to be talking about how does the software update itself to continually improve our auto striping technology. Every mower has a 3G or GPRS modem, and when the mower boots up, it makes a quick connection to ask, is there any software updates? Now we're doing heavily active development right now, so most of the time there are. These packages or nodes containing everything from the path planning down to the obstacle detection are all stored on our package server. It's a private secure package server and we use something called Debian's, uh, which are packages of software that we pre-compile and our continuous build server compiles every day. When the mower boots up, it asks, hey, are there any new packages? And the mower sort of says, hey, here's the new versions, here's how you install them, we've already tested them, they've already worked on one of our platforms, and they're ready to go. There's a rigorous process here at Greensy for making sure those packages work. In addition to testing them on our own lawns and using them on our own machines, when the software gets updated, when they're pushed to you, they've already been tested via a unit tests, uh, our continuous build server that checks for any other errors, configuration parameters, as well as anything that could go wrong. This standard updating process is super standard in the world of servers and other things that live on the internet. This computer runs Linux, it uses an Ubuntu with long-term support, and enables us to run the ROS operating system as well as our packages on top. This system allows for us to keep the mower up to date with the latest and greatest, safest, most reliable auto striping code. That's how our software update process works. Tune in for more uh, episodes of How It Works. Please let me know in the comments what else you'd like to know about our software or our mowers, how it works. Please let us know. Thanks.